In the previous episode, we've installed the body kit on my Oryx 8, took it to the paint shop where it got fully stripped and all the body imperfections were fixed. Afterwards, the car came out with a new soul red paint and the result was amazing, but it had yet to reach its final form. Today, we're gonna install this new fog light. The hole for it was already cut out and a new bulb connector was put in place. Next, we're also gonna wrap the side brackets of my spoiler in black so that they have a better contrast with the whole spoiler. And lastly, we'll say goodbye to the old stock rims and replace them with some new 19 inch ones. If you like the way the new body kit looks on my RX-8, I'll leave a link in the description where you can check it out. Since the car is so low, we have to jack it up from the back in order to make some extra space on the side to fit the left arms under the body. With the arms now carefully positioned, we can lift up the car. We've decided to start with the rims since they didn't require any modifications to get mounted. We started by cleaning the rust that accumulated on the brake discs. Then we used a special grease to coat the hub where the rims sit so that over time they don't stick to it and become impossible to remove. Next, it was time to put the hub-centric rings on the wheels to get that new car ride feel. With that done, the rims were finally ready to get mounted on the car. And boy oh boy, do they look good. Time to secure them by tightening back the lug nuts. This is the fog light that we've selected to replace the old one. We've modified the back end so that the bulb enters from the bottom and not from the middle because the rear bash bar was in the way and putting the bulb in would have been impossible. So now it's time to position it in the hole and snap it in place. Alright, the fog light is now in place and I have to say that it looks pretty darn good. The contrast with the black diffuser is very pleasing to see and it fits the hole perfectly all around. And this is how it looks from the back with the new bulb now connected. Time to do a quick test to see if the light works as it should. And yes, works like a charm. As a precaution, we're gonna put some silicon on the back of the fog light to make sure it sticks to the bumper even under hard vibrations. With all of that done, it's finally time to fix the color on my spoiler brackets. Instead of coloring them, we decided to wrap them with a glossy black vinyl and the guys at Sunside Tuning are masters of vinyl wrapping. With the wrapping now done, it's time to put on the top part of the spoiler and secure it in place with screws. Are you ready to see the final result? Here it is. The rims fit the car perfectly. 19 is definitely the best aesthetic option for an RX-8. Let's have a look at the front one. Oh yeah! The combination of red, black and grey is spot on. Another thing we did was to take the Mazda emblem away from the old bumper and attach it to the new one and boy oh boy was this a good decision. The car now still looks sportish but in an elegant way. The gap between the wheel and the fender is pretty okay. I can fit one finger in between. Aesthetically it looks pretty good but I think that with some spacers to bring the rims out it'll look even better. With the 19 inch rims on, the clearance under the front bumper has gotten bigger by at least 2 or 3 centimeters. Now I can almost fit my whole foot under it, before I could only just fit the part before the laces. So now I don't have to worry too much when going over speed bumps. And here's the view from the back. The rear looks perfect. We've positioned the spoiler on the most inclined setting, which I think looks the best. The side brackets, now wrapped in black, complement the whole spoiler very well. But to really complete the look on the rear part, I had to replace the stock exhaust with a new, bigger one that fits the hole perfectly and makes the whole rear end more proportionate. Another thing that I like about the new exhaust is that it is square and inclined a bit so that it's perfectly in line with the lower part of the diffuser. Previously with the stock muffler it had like a round belly that was lower than the diffuser and it looked like my RX-8 had a beer belly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you like it, I'll leave a link in the description alongside the body kit so you can check it out and rock it on your RX-8 too. <laughs>
that's it for this video leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and don't want to miss all of my future rx8 modifications and adventures so let's hit the ground.